So before you waste taxpayer money, before you put a kid in harm's way, you better throw this policy out and not even consider, I've got the floor. <coughs> Ms. Pacino, will you please listen to me? Sir. Yeah, you claim you want people to follow the rules, but you break the rules left and right. Last month, you allowed two people All to right, speak. We will be this meeting this. right now. Parents in Idaho are furious after a school board meeting was abruptly ended by tyrannical board members as moms and dads showed up to protest a new gender policy that would allow students to use any bathroom they so choose. So the headline Idaho school board meeting ends in chaos over gender policy. The meeting was shut down. We'll give you details in a minute, but we've got a video, watch. You, under Idaho law, are required to maintain the morals and health of all the students. How can you do that when like that little girl came up here and said, and you allow a male to use a female bathroom, you're gonna put all of their moral health and safety at risk. And like I told you before, you will face litigation. You call that a threat. I'm telling you, that is what will happen. It's already happened in several states and there's already been rulings on it. So before you waste taxpayer money, before you put a kid in harm's way, you better throw this policy out and not even consider, I've got the floor. <coughs> Ms. Pacino, will you please listen to me? Sir. Yeah, you claim you want people to follow the rules, but you break the rules left and right. Last month, you allowed two people All to right, speak. We will be in this meeting the right now. All right, meeting has been adjourned. Meeting is adjourned. What? What just happened? What happened? Well, they, I, I know there was a cut in the video there, but the, so he was calling her out because while he was speaking, she was leaning over to say something to one of the other members, uh, members there. And, and it's, it's, it's rude. It's, it's like, all right, we've heard this, this kind of parent before that's just radical, doesn't want to go along with the, the new improved changes and the, the, the woke changes, or the DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And Katie, just take it away. Well, as you saw via the video, this was at the Caldwell School District. It's just west of Boise. For those of you who don't know your Idaho geography as well, you probably have heard of Boise, Idaho. So it's just west of there. And you saw how the uh, president there was looking around, like basically probably trying to find a way out. And <laughs> she apparently we, we found one. Yeah. Um, but what's interesting is in when you read the article, um, it says that one mom who appeared to be who appeared, appeared to be Hispanic <laughs> said that we are conservatives, and, and then she called the policy indoctrination into a cult True. and immoral child exploitation. True, she said it's a constitutional right of the parents to raise their children with their own moral values. True, and without the imposition of alternate lifestyles. True, again, this is in Idaho, so it's. It, Oh, but mm. it's not happening in it's, my little town. It's not town, happening not in my little state. town. Uh, she yes, also continued, yep, this is an attack on God and family. The educational system True. has become a pawn for destroy, destroying our children, True. Christian culture, and the guarantee of freedoms in our republic. So, True. David, you got some <laughs> you got some truth in you just saying in all of that, yeah, don't absolutely. you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, go. I mean, amen to, to her, this, I'm guessing, young woman, if she's got a, a child in the school there. But, yeah, the, she... These points, it's like you can wrap it up and say, all right, we'll go home, we're out. She just said it because it is indoctrination. They are forcing kids and people into a cult. It is cultish to force your ideology on an entire school.